Hello kids, welcome back to Amusement School. Today we will cover your second chapter from EVS NCRT book, which is Ear to Ear. The objective of this chapter is to teach children about the characteristics of animals around them. Now let's begin with the answers without further delay. So, in the first section, who has got my ears? The question number one is, are these animals looking funny? The artist has drawn wrong ears on the heads of the animal. Give correct ears to the animals in this space given below. So, the animal is elephant and the artist has drawn the ear of mouse on the elephant. Next, the animal is rabbit and the artist has drawn the ear of giraffe on it. Third, the animal is mouse and the artist has drawn the ear of dog on it. Fourth, the animal is giraffe and the artist has drawn the ear of elephant on it. Fifth, the animal is dog and the artist has drawn the ear of rabbit on it. Sixth one is buffalo and the artist has drawn the ear of deer on it. Seventh, the animal is deer and the artist has drawn the ear of buffalo on it. Now question two. Different animals have different kind of ears. Among the animals given below, which one have ears that you can see? In which animal can you not see the ears? Write in the table below. So, animals whose ears we can see are deer, pig, tiger, buffalo, giraffe, elephant, cat. Animals whose ears we cannot see are frog, sparrow, duck, fish, ant, snake, crow, lizard. Question 3. Do you think that the animals whose ears we cannot see really do not have ears? Answer. No, they have ears but they are hidden. Moving on to the next section, let us observe the picture. Name the animal in the picture. Answer. Hen, sparrow, duck, parrot, crow, frog. Question number 5. Can you see their ears? Answer. No, I cannot see their ears. Question number 6. Find out some other animals which have ears that we cannot see. Write their names. Answer. Swamp, fish, fly, mosquito, crocodile, tortoise, etc. Moving on to the next section, read and write. Question 7. An animal with ears like fans. Answer. Elephant. Question 8. An animal with ears like leaves. Answer. Rabbit. Question number 9. An animal with ears on the top of its head. Answer. Rabbit. Question 10. An animal with ears on both sides of its head. Answer. Dog. Now, let's move on to the next section, Who's Kid? Question 11. Match the animals shown here with the pictures of their skin. Make the correct pattern of the skin on the picture of each animal. So, you can see the picture on your screen. Question 12. You might have seen some of the animals given below. Put the name of the animals in the table below. These are the animals whose ears can be seen. Elephant, Fox, Pig, Mouse, Cat, Buffalo, Camel, Cow. The animals who has hair on skin are elephant, fox, pig, mouse, cat, buffalo, camel, cow. Animals whose ears cannot be seen are sparrow, pigeon, frog, crow, peacock, duck, hen, lizard. Animals who has feathers on skin are sparrow. Pigeon, crow, peacock, duck, hen. Question number 13. In which list did you put the cow and the buffalo? Answer. Animals whose ears can be seen and has hair on their body. Question 14. From a distance, can you see the hair on their skin? Answer. No, their hairs cannot be seen from a distance. Question 15. 
Try to go near one of them. Could you see the hair? Answer. I can see their hairs if I go near them. Question 16. Can you tell which of the animals mentioned in the list lay eggs? Find out and write the names of these animals in the green box. Which of the animals in the list give birth to babies? Write their names in the red box. Animals which give birth to babies are deer, buffalo, pig, elephant, cat, giraffe. Animals which lay eggs are frog, fish, ant, crow, snake, lizard, duck and sparrow. Question 17. Now look again at the table on the previous page. Draw a line under the names of animals whose names are in the green box. Put a circle around the names of those animals whose names are in the red box. The animals whose ears can be seen are elephant, fox, pig, mouse, cat, buffalo, camel, cow. So make sure to encircle them. The animals who has hair on skin are fox, elephant, pig, mouse, cat, buffalo, camel, cow. And the animals whose ears cannot be seen are sparrow, pigeon, frog, crow, peacock, duck, hen, lizard. Animals who have feathers on skin are sparrow, pigeon, crow, peacock, duck and hen. Question 18. So what did you note? Answer. The animals whose ears we can see have hairs on their body and they give birth to young ones. The animals whose ears we cannot see do not have hairs on their body and they lay eggs. Question 19. Have you seen animals around your house or school that have small babies? Write their names in your notebook. Answer. I have seen animals and their babies around me like dog, cat, pig, rat, cow, horse, etc. Question 20. Have you ever kept a pet? Does anyone you know keep a pet? Answer. I had once kept a pet dog and a pet parrot. Question 21. Find out more about the pet. Which animal is it? Answer. It was a dog and a parrot. Second part. Does it have a name? What is it? Answer. Just they have names. We call them Tommy and Toto. Third part. Who gave it this name? Answer. We gave them these names. Fourth part. What does it like to eat? Answer. The dog like to eat meat, bread, etc. And the parrot like chili, guava, grams, etc. Fifth part. How many times a day is it given food? Answer. We gave them food three to four times a day. Sixth part. When does it sleep? For how long does it sleep? Answer. The dog sleeps in the day for about five to six hours and the parrot sleeps at night for about eight to ten hours. Seventh part. Is there any special way to look after these animals? How? Answer. We need to wash and clean them regularly. Also, their place is cleaned properly. Eighth part. Does it get angry? When? How do you know it is angry? Answer. They get angry when they see unknown people and they start to shout loudly. Ninth part. Does it have hair or feathers on its skin? Answer. The dog has hair on its skin and the parrot has feather on its skin. Tell part. Can you see its ears? Answer. Dog's ears can be seen but parrot's ear cannot be seen. Eleventh part. Is it a baby or a young animal or a full grown animal? Answer. They both are young animals. Twelfth part. Will this pet animal lay eggs or give birth to babies? Answer. The dog will give birth to babies and the parrot will lay eggs. Thirteenth, does it have young ones? Answer, no, they do not have any young ones. Fourteenth part, draw a picture of this animal and color it. Give it a name of your choice. So, you can see the answer on the screen. Question 32, look at this picture. Color the parts which have even numbers. What do you see? Find out the name of the animal. Answer. 
is right on your screen. Question 23. Have you seen any animal that looks a little like dinosaur? Do you know its name? Answer. Yes, I have seen a lizard and it looks a little like a dinosaur. Question 24. Look at this animal. Write its name. Do you know that this is our national animal? Its name is tiger and I know that it is our national animal. Question 25. Where does it live? Answer. They live in forest, grasslands, etc. Question 26. The numbers of this animal are going down in India. Discuss why this could be happening. Answer. The number of tigers are going down in India because of several causes like they are hunted for their bones and skin. People are cutting down the forest so the tigers have no place left to live. So kids, that's it for this lesson. We will soon be back with the third lesson. Make sure you subscribe our channel and hit the bell button so that you don't miss out its solutions.